Hi. <laughs> You're literally a cunt. Like, I don't even know why we're friends, honestly. I think that maybe, like, God just felt like you needed me, bitch, because obviously didn't need you. Um, hope your day is going as terrible as it can. You're literally, like, a six foot seven linebacker. Don't know what that's about. Your mom should have dated a leprechaun, because why the fuck are you so fucking linky? <laughs> I have a bag of hot Cheetos. <laughs> And I would give you some, but I don't want to add to your back and how big and white it is. But I know you are dying. You're shaking in your boots because you crave anything you can swallow at 3 a.m. in your bed while you're lonely watching Netflix shows that would never even considerably be good. Boo, tomatoes, bitch. You're also a filthy whore. I know that you're still talking to that man that you said that you was gonna stop talking to, but obviously you have separation anxiety and you have problems with being alone. So it's fine. Like, you know, everybody needs somebody. And I guess you two are perfect since you're both fucking dumb, ditzy, stupid, and ugly. <laughs> wow. Oh, nothing. Just checking my phone because I have a sugar father or something that you will never have. Because you don't know shit about nothing but how to shit and do nothing. You worthless piece of shit bitch you are. Anyway, I have to finish making a video because I'm all about my money. Something you don't know about, bitch. Toodles. P.S. Love you, stupid cunt whore. What's up YouTube, it is your boy Darius Official. I am back with another YouTube video. As you can see from the title below, this is a story time. I feel like everyone needs an outlet to avoid depression. <laughs> you guys are my outlet. So basically, um, this story time today is about the time when I was talking to a nigga. You know what I'm saying? A nigga. Ain't it always about nigga? If it ain't about my nigga, it's about your nigga. And if it ain't about your nigga, it's about her nigga. And if it ain't about her nigga, it's about a nigga. Ugh, that was so ugly. <laughs> See? No, but for real, this story time today is about the time that I talked to a straight guy again. <laughs> um, and I say straight. Because, uh, well, you know, obviously if the man is talking to me and I'm a man, then that would not make him straight. That would make him interested in men. So either bisexual or gay or whatever he wants to identify himself as that pertains to talking to men or includes it. Um, <clears throat> little quick disclaimer, if you guys hear any noise in the background, that is my dryer going. I am drying clothes right now. Can we get into the look a little bit, y'all? Can y'all tell that I dyed my hair? You can? <laughs> Thank you. You can't? You a hating ass bitch. And I knew I never fucked with your weak ass. Now get the fuck off this video and get your big ass back to your seat. No, but anyway, okay, so cool. Y'all know I stay in Houston now. I am from Chicago. I moved to Houston last year. And, um... <laughs> last year in uh, February. So I moved here. February of last year, 2022, it is 2023. So I've been here for almost like, I've been here for like a year and a half. Um, great time, great time, made a lot of good people. You know, these niggas out here is cool. Oh, didn't mean to say that. These people out here are cool, the niggas are too. Okay, so anyway, when I stayed in Chicago, I knew a guy that stayed in Houston and we're gonna name him, we gonna name him Trent. Let's just give him the name Trent. Trent. Oh, actually, Trent just made me think of somebody else that I could give a story time about. Fuck. You guys are going to have so many story times. Because, obviously, I talked to so many fucking niggas. Fuck. I'm sorry, y'all. I don't have ADHD, but I feel like at that moment, it, like, showed me something that I probably didn't know. What the fuck is happening? Get it together. 
But anyway, so basically, yeah. So we're gonna name the dude Trent. Um, so I've known Trent for maybe like two years before I moved to Houston. So like 2019, and that's probably even longer than two years. What is that? That's three years. Um, basically, we were cool from, I think like we used to play like Call of Duty on like the PS or whatever. And then he ended up like giving me his Instagram. Mind you, I say straight because for the longest I did not know that this man was like interested in me. So all the way up until just 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 follow them. so basically um yeah so me and Trent like we were you know we were cool or whatever back in 2019 you know he ended up giving me his instagram or whatever so i'm like all right i follow him on instagram and then we just like kick it all the time where we would always facetime and so he's like you know he'll tell me about like his girlfriend problems and all of this and all of that and he was just really cool like really cool nothing major nothing about it really cool just really fucking cool so I'm like, you know, around 2020 came, obviously, and probably y'all know, y'all know when I moved here, um, I didn't even know I was gonna move here until like my lease was up. So I literally had in my head a month before actually coming to Houston from leaving from Chicago, I was like, I'm gonna come to Houston. So, you know, I, me and him, was st we still were like keeping close in contact for like three years damn near. Like there wasn't two weeks that we went without like speaking to each other, you know? So um, I ended up hitting him up and I'm like, yo bro, I'm like, um, guess where I'm moving? He was like, where? And I'm like, Houston. And he's like, you cap. And I'm like, no, I'm for real. Like, I'm dead ass. Like, I'm actually everything than cap. Like, I'm a sock. I'm a shirt. I'm underwear. A panty lining. Like, I'm not cap, though. <laughs> so he's like, shit, when? And I'm like, you know, February 24th, blah, blah, blah. He's like, all right, cool. He's like, well, when you get here, you know, let me know. Just keep in contact. So I'm like, all right, bet. So... You know, closer to that time, I end up coming. I end up moving out here. Moved out here. I stayed in a hotel for like a week before I actually moved into my apartment. After staying in the hotel, it was time for me to move into my apartment. So I had to pick up keys. But at this time, I remember, I don't think I was, I can't remember exactly what I was doing, but for some reason, I couldn't go pick up my own keys because I was already too far and I had something else going on. So by the time I was going to be able to pick up the keys, the leasing office was going to be closed. So I called Trent. I'm like, yo, like, what you doing? He's like, like shit, I'm at the crib. I'm like, well, you know, my apartment's ready. I'm like, you think you can go pick up the keys for me or whatever? They, he's like, yeah, cool. So I'm like, all right. They end up letting him pick up the keys. All he had to do was like show his idea or whatever. So he's like, well, meet me at my house. And then um, you could just pick him up from there. So I'm like, all right, bet. So I drive to his house maybe like seven o'clock. Um, I end up go picking up the keys. This is my first time ever seeing this man in person like in person. So I'm like, which is kind of crazy, right? Like, yeah, like I've known this nigga for like three years, but it was still like just virtual, like knowing this man, like he really could have ran off with my keys. He could have been, he could have been squatting in my shit. Like he could, to, to this day, he could have been in my shit. All because I'm fucking easy. All because I'm fucking gullible. I'm just fine. He was cool. I trust him. Good instincts. But yeah, so, you know, I pulled up on him or whatever, seeing him in person, y'all. He come out the door. Like I'm parked in front of his house. He come out the door and I'm just like, oh my God. This motherfucker here is not real. Y'all, he was fine as shit. Like, don't get me wrong, he was fine on FaceTime. Damn. You know what I'm saying? I'm just like, you know what? I could acknowledge when somebody's fine. One thing I don't do is act on it. If they don't give me that vibe that they want to fuck with me, I'm not going to give them that vibe that I want to fuck with them. You know what I'm saying? That's just me. And y'all need to also learn that as well because you bitches damn near be going out like rapists because y'all ass don't know how to read the motherfucking room. Y'all can't tell when somebody wants y'all and when somebody don't want y'all. Now it's cool. Look at a motherfucker. You can compliment a motherfucker, but you know what to do. Look at that motherfucker while you're typing it. Read the motherfucking room, bitch. He don't want you. So anyway, you know, back to the story. I'm like, okay, damn, you look good. So he walked into the car. I'm just like, oh, okay. He sits, he gets in the car, he sits in the car. He give me all my paperwork from the leasing office. He give me my keys and he's like, what's up, bro? I'm like, what's up? You know, he's shaking me up, you know what I'm saying? We do a little hug, you know what I'm saying? A little bro hug. And I'm like, huh. Mutual man. And so, you know, he's like, you about to slide to the apartment now? I'm like, yeah. He's like, damn, I would slide with you and shit, but um, he was like, I'm, I'm in here taking care of my grandpa, shit like that. I'm like, oh, okay, well, I'm like, you know, I appreciate it. What y'all later type shit? He's like, shit, we can get up tomorrow. I'm like, all right, we can get up. You know what I'm saying? We can kick it tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? I'm free. I ain't got no friends out here. I'm lonely as fuck. My cousin not even in town yet because her ass is still coming from, you know, from, from, from school. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, you know, <laughs> I'm free. I'm free as a motherfucking bird. I'm freer than a little bitch at a lemonade stand giving out free lemonade. That ain't make sense. I'm I'm freer than a motherfucking. I'm 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 freer than than whatever item it is when you buy something and say you get that one free. That's how free I am. I'm free as a motherfucking bird. So he like 
all right, bet. He's like, well, let's kick it tomorrow. I'm like, all right, cool. And I'm like, all right, well, I'm finna slide, you know, I'm finna go back to the crib. He's like, all right, whatever, no. I check in with you. I'm like, all right. <sighs> Y'all, literally, as I'm pulling off, well, I get like to the stop sign at the end of his block. He shoots me a text and he's like, LOL, you look short as hell in person. Do I for real? You like my height? It turn you on? This ain't nothing. Wait till you see me when I'm throwing this motherfucker back. <laughs> Oh my god. But um, yeah, you know, I was just like, all right. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, you look tall and hurt, motherfucker. Y'all, I didn't even give y'all a description. I love you know I always have to give y'all a description, so let me go ahead. He was light skinned, wave, 6'1. Not too skinny, but skinnier. Um, and yeah, you know, it was like, I'm like, alright. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, yeah, you know, you know, when he said you look short in person, I'm like, yeah, you look you look tall in person. I'm only five eight. Eight day. <laughs> But yeah, so I end up going home that night. I end up um like unloading all this shit out of my car because y'all, my car was like filled with everything. Kobe was in my car at the time, literally, because my job, I was leaving from the hotel and this was my first night inside of my new crib. So I had Kobe packed up so we could just go straight to, you know, the crib or whatever. <clears throat> so I get home, I unpack, I do everything I need to do. And um, at this time, I didn't have a bed, so I like blew up my little mattress on the floor, my little blow up bed. And my auntie had gave me, shout out to you auntie, you came in clutch, love you Tuki. Um, and then yeah, like I went to sleep, and then the next morning I got up and I was like getting ready to, you know, like go run some errands. I wanted to go to furniture stores and shit like that, so cool. So literally, as soon as I woke up, y'all, I was tired as shit, cause like I had, I was just tired, like from loading all of that shit into the car, it was just so fucking much, like. But yeah, so basically, um, <clears throat> By the time I woke up, I woke up to a message by him, like by Trent, and he's like, good morning. And I was like, what's up bro, good morning. And he's like, "Um, when you get ready and stuff, he was like, damn, y'all, hold on, this motherfucker being and just going off. Hey bitch, shut the fuck up, you dumb, stupid, fucking cunt whore. And that's how you kill a bitch. You see me, that laptop could never treat me like that. You wanna know why? Cause I'm a bad bitch and you can't kill a bad bitch. That whole over there soft with fuck. That whole really weak and fuck. Down the fuck for a bump. That whole really lame and fuck pussed out home. Lame that trifling that nasty back ass bean body jelly bean jumping nasty big fat elbow little nipple having that hoe. Weak ass hoe. I ain't arguing no hoe that ain't got no legs. This bitch ass hoe ain't got no legs. That pussy ass bitch ain't got shit. Hold on hoe. Can that? Can that be you the name you wanna fucking mad bitch? You the name you wanna fucking mad ho? Bitch, I put that on your man, ho. On your pants, bitch. Stop playing with me, fuck ass ho. You need to actually be clean with your dirty ass, punk ass, weak ass, weak ass, hard back ass ho. Fuck ass bitch. Fuck wrong with that pussy ass bitch. Weak ass bitch. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Back in business. <laughs> but yeah, so um, he ended up texting me like, good morning. I'm like, yo, what's up, good morning. He's like, uh, what you doing? I'm like, I'm actually getting ready so I could go to, you know, furniture shopping and shit like that. And he's like, oh, well, good, because I was about to slide over there. That's cool. I'm like, yeah. Y'all, by the way, which is very fucking funny as well, we shared location. Um... <laughs> We actually shared locations before like I even moved to Houston. Don't ask me why. I think it was just a thing that we was just like, yeah, like, I don't know. Okay, I know. <laughs> but yeah, so you know, we shared locations and um, yeah, so he's like, all right, well, I'm about to be on my way. And I'm like, all right, cool. Y'all, I hop in the shower. I do my little one, two, my little three, four. And maybe like about 30 minutes later, he pulled up. I'm like, okay. So he's like, um, <laughs> about something that you guys might know but like yeah we're not gonna like talk about it but yeah so basically um he's like i'm downstairs i'm like all right bet i'm like you want to come up and check out the apartment he's like yeah sure so he ended up coming upstairs or whatever you know he's doing his little thing you know checking out the apartment i'm like all right cool Boom, bada, bam, bow. We end up going to the damn, um, we end up going back downstairs to his car. We end up going to the furniture store places. He took me to like this one food place or whatever that he said was really good, which was really fucking good. Um, and then like, we literally kicked it all day. Um, he ended up showing me around the city or whatever. Uh, and I was just like, damn, like this was at night too, by the way. Like he ended up showing me around the city. So I'm like, all right, bet. Cool. Y'all. That was just like the first day that me and him actually kicked. Let's fast forward into like a week. I had my couch, I had my bed, all of my shit came or whatever. And he's like, um, 
you know, this day, let's say a week later, this day, he ended up texting me early in the day. And he's like, hey, like, what's up? I want to hang out. So I'm like, all right, cool. And I'm like, well, I'm not doing shit today. Let's do it. Y'all, I think this was like on the weekend. It was, had to be on a week, weekend day, what, whatever. Like, it had to be either like Friday or Saturday or Sunday. Probably like Friday or Saturday, one of those. But I'm like, shit, I'm not doing shit or whatever. He's like, all right, well, I can slide or whatever at seven. I'm like, cool. This was early in the day. So I'm like, all right, whatever. You know, he ended up texting me around like 6 30. He was like, I'm on my way. I'm like, all right. He was like, you want to drink? And I was like, do I want to drink? He's like, yeah. I was like, um, bet. I'm like, yeah. So I ended up asking him, I'm like, you hit hookah? He's like, yeah. I'm like, all right, bet. So, you know, he uh, stops at the liquor store. He slides to my house and he obviously comes upstairs. <gasps> um, And he comes in with a bottle of Casamigos. And I'm like, all righty, let's do it. This motherfucker here is not real. Fuck. So I'm like, um, okay, all right. So, you know, he sits down at the bar stool or whatever, and we just kind of talking or whatever. Y'all, this man, I'm just looking at him like, he looks just so good. And I'm like, Lord, fuck, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, I'm just like, do I like my friend? Like, am I infatuated with my friend? These the thoughts I'm having. I'm like, I don't know. But like, he's also giving me vibes. It's like, you want to kick it. Like, you want to chill. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. But then I try not to think too much about it as well, because I'm just like, you know, he was just as consistent before I end up moving here. So like, what's wrong with it being a person? You know, like, let's not think too much into it. Y'all, sometimes I really be like, I'm, I'm, I'm the type of person <clears throat> I like to separate my feelings from reality or what actuality could be. And I not just try to go based off of my feelings and let that, you know, cloud my judgment, cloud my mind. Like, oh yeah, this is what the room is. This is the vibes. Cause sometimes you could be dead ass wrong. Like you could really be off, you know what I'm saying? So. Um, yeah, you know, we sitting there talking, whatever, I set the hookah, he end up like cracking open the bottle, he end up pouring us shots, so I'm like, alright, cool. Y'all, we taking shots, we sitting there talking, we playing card games, all of this and that. This is what threw me off. Y'all, probably like, we done probably took like six shots by this point. We're pretty tips. Pretty fucking tips. I don't know how we got on the talk of like sexual activities or whatever, not between me and him, but it was just more so like, Oh, that's what it was. So yeah, he ended up asking me like, didn't you used to do OnlyFans before or something? I was like, yeah. This was like when the first time I did it. You no, know, he asked about it. I'm like, yeah. He's like, that's crazy because I wanted to get into it. He was like, but I don't know. It just seems like a lot of hard work. I don't want people to look at me a certain way. Blah blah blah. I'm like, oh. I'm like yeah, I mean, shit, ain't nothing to do it. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. Yo, he literally goes like this and says, yeah, I mean, cause my shit not bad. And shows me his phone of him fucking his penis. And I was like, what is the fuck? But what the fuck is happening? Did you just show me your fucking penis? And y'all, might I say, might I add, that motherfucker was huge. Woo! So now I'm just like, you know, when he showed me, I was like, I was like, oh, I was like, I was like, yeah, bro, like y'all shit not bad. I'm like, fuck, the fucking camera's about to die. I could never fucking win. So I'm like, you know, I'm like, yeah, bro, like your shit not bad. I'm like, I started. I said, I, I, you know, I don't think that you, you know, shouldn't start. I feel like you should like get into it. And he's like, you think so? I'm like, yeah. He's like, so then he goes and shows another. He was like, cause like, you know, this one I just took today. And I was like, this nigga's really showing me his dick right now. Y'all, when I tell y'all, I almost suck that. No, I'm just playing. But <clears throat> so I'm like, and then this is this is what threw me off. So I'm just like, I'm like, oh, okay. He's like, hell yeah. And then I see him scrolling to like, I don't know if he was trying to look for some more, but I heard them like just kind of directed the conversation back to the game that we were playing. We're playing Uno. So I'm like, I'm like, it's your turn. He was like, oh shit, yeah. So I'm like, yeah. I'm like, take a shot. He's like, all right, bet, let's take a shot. So we took a shot. You know, we chilling, we having a good talk, having a good time, hitting the hookah, cool. Y'all, by this point, he ended up getting like fucked up. Like, and you know me, I drink. We drink the same amount, but he ended up getting fucked up. And I don't know why he thought he could hang with a big dog. And I noticed he was getting fucked up because he ended up going to the bathroom and he sat in there for like 10 minutes. And I'm just like, you good? He's like, yeah. I'm like, all right, maybe you shouldn't. He comes back out and he just kind of like flops on the couch. So I'm like, all right, okay. Yo, he gets, he, so as he's on the couch, he's like, Darius. I'm like, what's up? He's like, come here real quick. I'm like, what's up? So I go over there to him. I'm like, you cool? I'm like, kind of, you know, standing like not over him, but in front of him while he's like flopping on the couch. He's like, help me up. So I'm like, all right. So I help him up off the couch and then um, he kind of like swings his arm over my shoulder. And I'm like, you got to go to the bathroom? He was like, yeah. Yo, right? We took one step. This man threw up all over my floor. Now I'm kind of irritated. Now I got to clean up throw up. 
and it was a lot but whatever you know i'm being an aide you know i'm assisting him um and yeah so i take him to the bathroom and um i just i let him just sit over the sink and do his little thing so i could walk back out to my living room and i just kind of um like you know i'm cleaning up or whatever the throw up or whatever and then i heard like the door close so he closed the bathroom door so i'm like okay Whatever. So I'm cleaning up the throw up, then I hear the shower come on and all of this and that. So I'm like, all right, cool. He's taking a shower. He probably feel like, you know, whatever. Because he did throw up on himself as well. He didn't get it on me, but he threw up. And I was just like, cool. He's not that fucked up. He can take a shower. I'm like, all right. I end up finished cleaning up his throw up. I end up mopping up the floor, all of this and that. That shit took me like a little minute. And then I sat down and I'm just hitting the hookah, whatever, y'all. Like, I was not that fucked up like he was. Like, you know what I'm saying? I end up getting a text on my phone. It was from him, from Trent. And he's like, he was like, can you bring me a towel? And I'm like, yeah. So I go grab a towel and then I sit it by the door. I say it's by the door. He was like, no, can you bring it in here? I'm like, so I go in the bathroom. I got my eyes closed. I'm like this and I'm like here and I'm handing him the towel. He was like, bro, you don't have to close your eyes. Like you're good. Like, I don't think that you own no bullshit and no weird shit with me. Like you fine. So I'm just like, okay. I'm like, yeah. Cause you know, he at this point he's drunk. So I'm like, all right. I'm like, yeah, just take the towel. He's like, bro, can you like help me at the shower? I said, Trent, please. I'm trying to work with you. Just please just get, put the fucking towel on you and get, get your ass out the motherfucking bath. Lord, Jesus. Yo, so he like, I still got my eyes covered like this, y'all. I still got my eyes covered. So he's like, he's like, no, just help me out. Help me out of the, uh, help me out of the tub. And then like, you got some underwear and shorts, bro. I'm like, yeah, cool, whatever. So I'm helping him out the tub. Mind you, he got the towel wrapped around him. And then he put his arm back over me and I'm like walking him to my room. So. I let him sit on my bed. He's like hunched over like this a little bit. And then he asked me where his uh, phone was. I'm like, you left it in the fucking bathroom, I think. So I go back, grab his phone. And he's just kind of like scrolling on Instagram with his head hung up. So I go into my master bathroom because I had two bathrooms and I had two bedrooms. And I go into my master bathroom and I just kind of, um, I look for um, like him some shorts, some underwear, some socks and a shirt. And I'm coming back out of the bathroom into the master bedroom. Y'all, this man is laid across the bed like this with the towel open. <laughs> And when he saw me, he was like, oh, my bad. And then like, he slowly would close the, the towel. And he was like, I was hot and I just needed the fan on. So I was like, y'all, I literally was just over it. I literally just threw the clothes on him. I was like, Trent, just put your clothes on. And then I walked out the door and I closed the door. Cool, that was that. Um, so he ended up going to sleep that night inside of my room, inside of the bed, and I ended up sleeping on my couch. Woke up the next morning, this man comes out of the damn room and he's like, I forgot what he said, but he said something like, um, why you sleep on the couch? And I was like, nigga, cause you slept in my bed. Like, what the fuck? He was like, bro, like you cool, we could have like did, you know, head to feet. I was like, nah, I was like, I'm cool. I was like, it's just not even that big deal. So he's like, all right. He ended up leaving probably like an hour after that. He got himself together and shit. And I was like, all right, that was that. <sighs> So then probably like two days after we haven't spoke, but it was just kind of gave like weird vibes, you know, I was just like, what's going on? Like, what, you know, what are we doing? Like, what's this, what's this situation? So I ended up texting him, I'm like, yo, what's up? He's like, he was like, what's up, my boy? I'm like, how you feeling? He's like, I'm cool. I was like, um, I was like, okay, cool. I was like, do you remember anything from, you know, the day before yesterday? He was like, yeah, bits and pieces. I was like, huh? He's like, okay. He was like, why? I was like, just curious. And he was like, oh, yeah. I, don't, I was fucked up drunk. I was like, yeah, me too. So that was that conversation. He ended up texting back later in the day and was like, what are you doing? And I'm like, I'm chilling. He was like, uh, wanna hang out? And I was like, yeah, we can. I'm like, we can. He's like, all right, I'm gonna slide over there. I'm like, cool. And he was like, I'm not drinking today though. I'm like, me either. I'm not trying to. So he's like, all right. So we end up sliding back to my crib and we end up cutting on the movie and we chilling. He says, can we have a talk? I'm like, yeah, we can talk. About what? I'm like, what's up? And he's like, um, I ain't gonna lie. Earlier when you asked me, like, do I remember anything? I do. Um, I don't want you to get like weirded out or whatever, but uh i'm gonna be honest with you bro like i fuck with your vibe like you cool i feel like i could trust you and shit like this so i'm like where's this conversation going <sighs> like where's this conversation going so then he ended up shutting down he was like actually never mind he was like it's cool let's just watch the movie i was like nah man say what the fuck you gotta say he's like he was like nah it's not this serious i was like what say it he was like well no i just basically want to say like i just fuck with your vibe bro and like i appreciate you taking care of me when i was drunk like that's the part that i remember and this and that and i'm just like okay I'm like all right i'm like okay like, all right that's the part you remember um he's like yeah and then we finished watching the show and then um we finished watching our movie and then he was just like yeah i'm about to i'm i'm gonna head out and i was like okay he was like i would have spent the night but i ain't bring no clothes so i'm like okay head out 
He was like, all right, babe. So he ended up leaving. Y'all, I woke up the next day, I made some videos, got that content out, did everything that I fucking needed to do, and yeah. When I woke up the next morning, after I did all of that, I ended up going downstairs, and I got in my car to go to Starbucks. And I noticed that there was a note on my window. And it literally said, so I, so I opened up the door and I read the note. While I opened up the door, I grabbed the note and I closed my door back and I'm reading the note and it says, <clears throat> didn't know how to tell you this, but I feel like this is the best way that I can tell you without sending it through text or calling you because I don't want a direct response. I just want you to read it. And if you choose to respond on your own, that's up to you. He was like, not gonna lie, bro. When we first started talking on FaceTime three years ago, you seemed really, really cool. But now that I actually see you in person, bro, I really fuck with your vibe. I never felt this way before about any dude. Like, I'm so infatuated with you. You're just very interesting. You're very cool. And yeah, this sounds weird, but I think I like you. Now that's that's probably not exactly what he said verbatim, but that's damn near exactly what he said. Just I got a little words thrown off, but that's literally damn near what he said, like in, in a nutshell. So I'm like, this nigga just confessed that he liked me. Oh my god. So I didn't I didn't know what to respond back right then and there because I was just like, bow. Oh, mind you, he ended it off with Trent, like his name, so I knew it was him by the All right. So I didn't know what to say back then, um, right or right at that moment. So I ended up just driving to Starbucks. I got me some coffee. I got me all of that. And then I ended up coming back home. And I was thinking about the note literally all day. So I had text him at night, and I was like, Trent. And he was like, what's up? And I just sent the looking eyeballs, and he sent the looking eyeballs back. And I was like, why couldn't you just tell me? And he was like, tell you what? And I was like, dot, 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 nothing, my bad. Because now I'm just like, who? So was this not you? That left that note. But then he ended up responding 10 minutes later. He was like, no, nah, I'm just fucking with you. He was like, um, cause I didn't know how to. And like, I feel like it's a little weird. I was like, no, nah. I was like, you can say whatever. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you fine. Like, you know what I'm saying? I've known you for. So he's like, yeah, um, I want to say how to talk with you in person, but I just didn't know how. You know, I'm just mad, yada, yada, yada. So I'm just like, I'm like, damn, well, like, I wish you would have stayed so that we could have had salt. So he was like, yeah, my bad. He was like, well, what are you doing right now? And I'm like, I'm in the bed. Y'all was probably like 12 a.m. at this point, like, literally. He's like, okay, well, I'm on my way. And I was like, and I was like, mm. and he was like, yeah, so I was like, okay. Was like, all right. So he ended up coming within like the next 30 minutes, y'all. I ended up opening up the door for him, and then we went in my room, and we just kind of like sat on the bed in the dark, and we just talked all fucking night to like 7 a.m. about just everything like him wanting to tell me certain shit on the phone like certain moments that he flirted and that i didn't know about you know him just like confessing the shit and i was like mm, wow this right here is my swag and to make a long story short um yeah we end up motherfucking like a dating for a couple of months lord and yeah but that's um I feel like I just left y'all off on a cliffhanger. Ah! Why the fuck did I think about this, y'all? I'm so slow. Like, certain things come to me in moments when I'm just talking. What if I make this another series? Because I could. Y'all want another series? Oh, my God. I'm so fucking smart. I'm so fucking smart. I'm, I'm so fucking smart. I'm like a bundle of art. I'm so fucking smart. I'm... I'm so fucking smart. My head is hard. Never gave so I'm fucking, I'm fucking smart. I'm, I'm so damn smart. Yeah, I'm so damn smart. Woo woo. Y'all want this into another story time? I mean, another series? Like another note? My, my summer with Noah? But what could I name this? My time with Trent. Oh! Bitch! I'm running laps around you hoes. Yeah, baby! Y'all, I love when my mind just be working. <sighs> okay, let's think about this real quick. Come on, me and you. Let's think about it. My time with Trent? Nah, too basic. It's too close to my summer with Noah. My time with Trent. <sighs> well, hold on. Shut up! <laughs> Fuck! Y'all, comment down below and let me know. I'm so excited right now because I'm just, my mind just been working. Y'all, I was so lost within life just a few minutes ago. Not even, you know, I was so lost. And now I feel like I found myself. Oh my God, bitch, I need to calm down. Bitch, I'm losing my mind in this motherfucker. Oh, um, Bitch, if you could see my leg right now, this bitch is doing an earthquake. This bitch is a salt shaker. Um, okay. My time with Trent. My straight boyfriend from hell.
No, okay, y'all. I think y'all need to comment down below. But right now, what I got in my head, and if I change it, I'm gonna let y'all know. But my time with Trent, cause it's some story times that I could tell y'all about that too. Like my time dating this man. These these straight niggas, or or these niggas that just you know first start talking to niggas, they're fucking insane. Fuck. I noticed that I'm always a first boyfriend for a nigga. It's crazy, like always. But I think that it comes from me like liking DL niggas for some reason, and I seem to always attract them. I don't know what it is. But, my time with Trent. Y'all comment that down below. Y'all let me know how to feel about that. Oh my god. I'm so fucking ecstatic. Bitch, don't try me. Now, now hold on. Now hold on, bitch. I'm the motherfucking Puerto Rican princess in the motherfucker. You ho, ballistic. Get that bitch out of here. Cause, cause if anyone you ho try me, if you 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 try me, I'm fuck one you hoes up. Cause that bitch, she motherfucking stupid. I told that, I told that natural bitch, I said, do that motherfucking lot of the ho. Then she threw that fucking dance. And when I told her drop it low, that bitch dropped the high. I said, bitch, you don't fucking fuck up my account. Because, bitch, if you hoes fuck up, I fuck up. Don't piss me off. Put that, put that hoe, put that hoe with them long, ugly lashes. These bitches don't know shit about nothing. I try to take these bitches out the hood. Try to take them to the, to the, to the motherfucking, uh, to goddamn booty club. And these bitches don't know how to, don't know shit about no fucking booty club. That bitch, I told you, I got a fucking residency in fucking Miami. These bitches don't know how to do a fucking A count. These bitches don't know shit about choreography. These hoes stupid. These hoes, bitch, 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 I remember every stupid hoe that I came across. Bitch, I got, bitch, I got mimographic memory, hoe. Don't, don't, don't fuck around with me. You, you, puss that hoe. Dissy, dirty, dirty ass bitch. Alright, I, I clicked that, I'm sorry, but. Yes, okay, oh my god, I'm so excited now, and it was so crazy, because I was thinking about this too, right before I made this video, I was like, should I, like, I'm like, how can I tell this story, because, like, it's really gonna be, like, a long, drawn-out-ass story, because I've known this, like, I dated this nigga for, like, months, and then it was just like, you know, how am I gonna tell this whole story within one video, like, this is gonna be the longest video, but obviously, duh, dumbass, do a fucking series, you stupid-ass bitch, use your fucking brain, but yes, oh my god, I'm so excited, okay, y'all. Okay, y'all, comment down below. I really feel like y'all gonna want one, and I'm giving it to y'all. So comment down below what y'all think it should be called. But I think it's gonna be my time with Trent. Yeah! Ooh! Woo -woo! All right, y'all, I love y'all so much. Make sure that you like, comment, subscribe. Click that bell on the side so that you can't be notified. Make sure that you tell a friend or two because it is good for you. Also, too, if y'all want to see my OF and what I look like without no clothes, the link is in my motherfucking bio. So make sure that you click that, okay? I love y'all so much. I will see y'all in my next YouTube video. Bye.